Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. I thought I was going to do my noise, but I didn't do my noise. <laughs> Last time, we fought Diamond Weapon, and I guess we didn't, or like, we hold it in place for Shinra to blast the fuck out of it. And then they open the path to the uh, Northern Cave, so we're going to try and go to the Northern Cave. <laughs> Fucking the learned, the learned pilot is at such a high level now, he's just completely... Like, he asks me to go. Y yeah, let's go. <laughs> He's really ready to fly this plane straight into death. Come on. We gotta go kill ourselves. Let's go do it. Alright, we should head towards the northern cave. Because <sighs> they blasted off the dome that's been guarding us from going to go beat up Sephiroth. I know you're there, Sephiroth. I know you're there. I hear you stealing. I know you're stealing. That. How old is that video? I wonder. Because that was like a meme years and years and years ago. Because we were kids and they said the N word and that was funny. <laughs> Sephiroth's energy barrier is gone. Sephiroth, can the airship get inside? Huh? He's my student, ain't he? Of course, he can go anywhere. Right, sorry about that. Yo, Mr. Bubs, <laughs> now what? Hold it. Scarlet, hair digger, what's going on? Who's the person you didn't mention? It's been Reeve the entire time. <laughs> Strange, I can't get the president. Not the president, to the sister ray. <laughs> what is it, Reeve? You're speaking strangely. None of that matters. The reactor's output is increasing all by itself. W wait a minute, that's not wise. It must cool down for three hours, or, el or else it won't work. Reeve, shut off the machine. We can't do that. It's inoperable. Someone has switched the machine over to mainframe operation. We can't operate it from here. What about the mainframe? Who? Hey, call the mainframe. Huh? Why are you giving orders? I don't give a damn about the details. Oh no, bad things are happening. There are bad things happening. Oh no, it's Hojo. Hojo? Ha ha ha. Just you wait, Sephiroth. I'll give you all the Mako you want. Hojo, stop the cannon. No, Midgar itself is in danger. Ha ha ha. One or two Midgars. It's a small price to, play, to pay. Hojo! Hojo! Show me, Sephiroth. It should be near. <laughs> Go beyond the powers of science. Before your presence, science is powerless. I hate it, but I'll concede to it. Just let me see it. <laughs> He's just insane. He wants to blow up Midgar and give fucking Sephiroth all the Mako energy he can. That's not wise. Mr. Bubs! Yo, do something, you big cat! Uh, Mr. Bubs, you okay? We're sunk. Hojo's doing this on his own. H huh? I don't like this. You're busted, Reeve. Too late trying to hide it now. Can't you stop the Mako reactor? We can't stop it. You're from Shinra, ain't you? So why is it impossible? We came a long way to get here. You better not be double-crossing us now. I can't make you trust me. You damn fool. You don't understand anything I'm saying. I don't give a damn about Shinra. If you're a man, no. If you're a human being, you'll save the planet. Don't you even care? No way. If you shut down the reactor, all hell will break loose. Why? Can't you just shut off the valve? Yeah, it's easy to shut off the reactor's pipe valves. But the reactor made a path for the energy to escape from down below. Once you open that, it's impossible to close it until everything blasts out. We can't stop the energy from gushing out. An explosion! That blast will be str even stronger than the number one reactor blew up. Damn. Forget about that. The cannon. We've got to get to Midgar. That's the first thing. Must stop Hojo first. Alright, so we can't go to the northern cave quite yet. Looks like Jason and the others are on their way. Stay out of the way. Ha 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 ha! 
Don't be ludicrous. I don't recall giving you, you giving me any orders. The Peace Preservation will give their best effort to make the enemy retreat. Because of them, I... I... That's a private matter. And the President is dead. Now I'm doing things my way. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Here, here. Now I'm going to use the new weapon. Ah, shit, Reeve. Hey, wait. Jason, everybody, sorry. But... Reeve, are you okay? It doesn't seem like Reeve's gonna be okay. But... You'll come, won't you? Well, yeah, we have no other choice. I know. Hey. I'm leaving the ship in your hands. I'm heading for Midgar. Alright. Off we go to try and save Midgar before it blows up. <laughs> What's even the plan, guys? What? A just go make Sojo knock it the fuck off so we just beat up this old man. That's gonna be fun. Beat up old man Kun. And for some reason, Hairdinger hey, is gonna try and murder all of us and try and stop us from saving all of them. I don't get it. They're dumb. Fucking... Scarlet and Heretiger is just like... I keep on saying his name wrong. I need to actually look up what how to say his fucking name. But, uh... They both want to blow up... <laughs> they both want to blow up Midgar at this point. Because they're just like, fuck it, President dead. We're gonna do whatever the fuck we want. I guess Rufus was the only one who was keeping them in check. From being a bunch of crazy assholes. So we have to fucking beat the fuck out of everything. And make our way into the cannon. 5,900 damage from one punch. That's pretty good fucking damage. I also have read a bit further into the final bosses, just to make sure I know what I need to do for them. And they're kind of weird. I'm just gonna say that now. They're weird. Anyway, we're back in Midgar. Oh wait, we have... I forgot. It's not how we do it. We can't walk into Midgar. <laughs> I forgot about that. Come on, get back to the ship. I completely forgot about it. We don't run into Midgar. We parachute. <laughs> we fly in. We've reached Midgar. Even if we get there, Midgar's under martial law. There will be no way we can sleep into the slums. Slip into the slums. Looks like all transportation from the slums is cut off. Hmm. Hey, 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 what do you think we have the high wind for? Where are we now? Huh? Where are we? If the land's no good, we'll go by air. <laughs> okay then, we'll parachute into Midgar. Off we go, gang! <laughs> Tyler just had to jump up. Tyler, what are you up to? <laughs> He's like, uh, let me do my real, my weird trick real quick. Alright, let's go. Where's... Oh, Yuffie, you gotta go! <laughs> Yuffie's still having stomach problems. Okay, now she's coming. Tyler had to push her up, like, you better start going right now. <clears throat> we gotta get the fuck out. Yay, we get to parachute into Midgar. Change your party's members? No, we're going in with the main three. Here we go. Wee! Wee! Woohoo! And we're all gonna go die! I hope Reeve's gonna be okay. He's the one who's controlling Kate Sif. <laughs> the gang falls into Midgar. <laughs> they're pretty damn brave. I mean, I guess they would they would probably survive the fall since they're pretty much giant sponges now. <laughs> That's pretty damn cool. Watching them parachute onto Sister Ray. <laughs> Woot! So for some reason, Herodigger just wants us to fucking die. Too bad we're flying right in. <laughs> Alright, gang. Herodigger is going after all you. That's why it's dangerous out there. Let's go underground. Alright, Mr. Bubs, you take us the way, slash Reeve. What if his real name is actually Mr. Bubs? What if, what's up, Yuffie? This place smells gross. Let's get over with this. Alright, let's go save. I guess, yeah, we still have our party. So everybody else who isn't in the party just kind of takes up and runs in with us. It's just so awesome. 
You know, you never really feel that in an RPG. You always feel that your other party members are just, they're around, but they don't do much. In this game, you really feel like all the party members have their own parts to play. Like, everybody's here to come save the world. Like, everybody jumps in with you. Yeah, let's get this over with. I have an old score to settle with Hojo, so let's hurry and go. What do you think, John? Sounds strange coming from me, but it feels like home being back in Midgar. Kind of makes me sick. Alright, ready? This is where we go in. Everybody, let's go. Please, hurry and come back to the Mako Cannon. Alright. Everybody in. <laughs> the gang just fucking raids Midgar and we fucking take back the world. This is where Avalanche takes back the world. <laughs> now we need to fucking... Where are we headed? Down? I guess down. That's the only direction I know. <laughs> but now, like, he starts... The fucking general starts throwing random bullshit at us. And we just have to fight it all off. Now his shotgun looks a little bit different. And Tifa just takes every hit for us. Cover... Cover's pretty insane. What the... Oh, it's... She's confused. I was like, what... Why is Mei attacking everyone? But Mei... Mei can't control herself currently. <laughs> Mei, why did you murder me? Mei, finally. There we go. <laughs> she literally just killed me. <laughs> like, fucking Tyler's looking over there like... You just killed Jason. And she's like, what? I didn't do shit. <laughs> He's still okay. He just carries around the dead body. You know, it doesn't make much sense. Why didn't they just use Revive on Aerith? I guess Revive only works to the point where you're near death, but you're not all dead. Anyway, this restores all life. So that saves a lot more MP on my thought. So this will bring us up to that green chest that's up there. See, where does this lead us to? Ah, whatever, we'll just keep going down. That would probably lead us to that green chest. But I don't think there's anything super special amazing that we need to get down here anyway. Jump! Holy shit! Somehow we're getting down there. Climb up. We're having to go up and down and all around, all over this place. <laughs> So are we inside the Sister Ray, or are we just fucking around in the little mechanics of Midgar? He said we were going underground. It's just weird. Scarlet and him just both go completely fucking bonkers. Once the, uh, president is dead, like, the two of them just fucking lose it. I would really like to know what Scarlet's, like, connection to Tifa is. Like, why does she hate her so much? I guess I can look that up real quick. Ah, fuck. Diggle is angry. <laughs> you hear them going... <sighs> it's no good. Arr. Why does Scarlet hate Tifa? Scarlet versus Tifa. Execution scene is... Point, low point. The drama that's going on. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just trying to figure out why she hates her. Why does Scarlet hate Tifa? Yeah, I, I can't tell. Nothing really knows why she doesn't like her. At least Google can't tell me. Maybe there's some point in the wiki that explains to me what that could be, but I, I, I just can't figure it out right now. Okay, there's this area that we were by. Pick up some shit. An elixir, that's kind of useful. And then what you got over here? Starlight Phone. That's one of the uh, weapons for Cake Sith. Slash Mr. Bubs. I don't say his name enough to uh, <laughs> replace Cake Sith with Mr. Bubs like I did the other characters. The other characters, they're all like different names and shit. But like for Mr. Bubs, he's just, he's Cake Sith. That's all he is. Yeah, Tifa, you just take every single shot in the book. Also, I learned something about, uh, What's his name? Tyler's ultimate weapon. It's like power depends on how many things he's killed throughout the game. Like the more enemies he's killed, 
the more like his power goes up. And it doesn't mean with his the weapon death penalty. It just means in general how many people he's killed. And then that's just like well how strong the weapon will become. Also, Tifa definitely needs some fucking healing right now. We have those X potions, right? Those are like the ones that cure your potion, that cure your health all the way. We're gonna cure your potions. Your potion's not curing enough? Well, we'll cure them. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, another save point. That's good. I want that save. We're all the way in here. It's pretty much just, let's see, eight people. I think it's eight, yeah, eight people uh, raiding Midgar and telling them all to fuck off. And telling the doctor that pretty much runs all of it that he's a crazy bastard. I guess he really just wants to see what Sephiroth will become. Like he's been driven so mad that it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> We're crawling through the vents. Oh, this place looks familiar, don't it? Kind of looks like one of those reactors we crawled through. Oh no, they're here. Oh, hey, Turks. Are you hiding behind a thing? What are we going to do? I think it's okay for you to ignore orders now. What's going down? Elena, don't act so weak. What up, guys? We're Turks, Elena. Yes, sir. You're right. Come on. We've got work to do. I'm not really up for it, but our orders were to seek you out and kill. Our company may be in turmoil, but that an order is an order. That's the will and the spirit of the Turks. Believe it. <laughs> hmm. What are you going to do? Let's see. Alright, we'll have one final battle with you. You can avoid this. We can say, no, we don't want to fight. I know we have a weird relationship, but we have to end this like Turks. Yeah, you guys aren't super soldiers, though, so you're fucked. Yeah, they don't have a lot of health. Like, I'm serious, they have no health. They're just in, like, the 6,000s range. Let's see, what attacks do you got? Let's see, we could just... <laughs> you want to break things? Just summon knights of the round. You can steal from them, like, a lot of good items. They're not amazingly good. Hell, you don't even really need them. Since we've got, well, really good items anyway. So we're just going to use Ultimate End. Fuck. I'm trying to hit the Yaz, but it's really hard. Besides, Knights of the Round will definitely eliminate all of them quite easy. It hits all of them. You know, in the HD version, there's a way to speed up battles. So, I've seen the Knights of the Round animation. I really wish you would just, like, get over and play it already. So if you really, if you want to play, if you want to just spam Knights of the Round, just fucking, just get the PS4 version. <laughs> or maybe even the Switch version. I think that might have speed up too. Uh, and it'll just speed up all this shit. You can speed up the animation. And then you can turn it off right when you want to get back to regular battling. It's just, like, it's cool to see all the Knights come up and swipe the fuck out of the Turks right now. But still, I would just rather them just finish them off instantly. Alright, 12, and now we have King Arthur. No, that's... That's... 12. And now it's Arthur. There you go. At least I think that's King Arthur. I mean, who else would be at the end of the Knights of the Round Table? He's like the biggest one. Well, we just fucking eliminated that bitch. Sorry, guys. We have Knights of the Round. Let's call it a day. <laughs> Bye-bye. Apparently you guys didn't want to fight to the death. Bye-bye. I mean, sure, we wasted 300 uh, MP, but fucking we got two elixirs for it, meaning that we just got all our heal back. Anyway, bye, Turks. I think that's the last of the Turks you see in this game. I think they all survive. I just don't know what they do afterwards. Let's see. Let's heal up his thing, since we've got so many fucking ethers. It's not even funny. <laughs> we'll use the rest of our potions. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Knights of the Round? Really spammable. 
like I if you took off uh, MP Turbo, then yeah, it would probably do a lot less damage, but it would do enough to fucking destroy a lot of shit, man. I don't know what that was. You didn't do anything. They're up to something. I have no clue. You're gonna... You missed Tifa if you're gonna confuse her. But I still have no idea what they're doing. Anyway. Fucking just do all that. Wanna... Mm, I just gotta watch this animation. <laughs> just wait for all the animations to play out. Final heaven! Let's see. I'm just seeing what's happening. Okay. Okay. Travel towards the camera. Spell's concluded. Continue past Barrett and you will find a bunch of stuff. Go all the way back to where you fought the Turks and go north. You will have to take the right pathway through areas 1, th one 2, 3, etc. until you reach area 8. The numbers identifying which areas are located on the back wall and the writing. Okay, there's a lot of directions. <laughs> we have to follow some directions. This leads to the next section, Midgard. This leads to Area Zero. Take the left to the next section to climb the ladder and find yourself the Shinra Building. Shinra Building has some optional items. It comes, it comes with some extra other stuff, but it's nothing, like, good. Because it's just a bunch of items that are okay, but just aren't worth it. So... The real path you need to take is you need to go left. We want to go left. Just so that we don't have to, uh... We don't need to go to the Shinra building. We just need to go to the thing. Hey, guys. You okay, Yuffie? Or, uh, Veronica? Come on, come on, come on! Area 8. Do I take a left? Okay, I think I'm going to the right area. Yuffie was like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Alright, we're on the streets of Midgar. Oh wait, I remember this street. This can't be. Hmm. It's a giant robot. Well, fuck. <laughs> they summoned in a giant mech to come murder us. Ha 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 ha! Here they come! <laughs> so they really showed up. Let's see, I'm reading about the boss. Defeat the Jamar armor target first, which is just below the main target, as you won't get any XP or MP until you de defeat it first. Okay. I just need to see which one to fight first. Apparently there's more than one. Beating it will prevent it from using materia mana. Okay, just making sure. They really showed up. Oh, Scarlet? <laughs> hey, guys. You guys are really crazy, ain't you? You sure did treat us like dogs up till now. You killed off a lot of my precious soldiers. Ha ha ha. Let's see how you do against anti-weapon artillery. You guys are worthless, but my proud creation is sure thing. Is a sure thing. Okay, then. Whatever you say, guys. Anti-weapon. We are anti-weapon. I'll show you the destructive power of the Proud Claude. Okay, then. Is it supposed to be like Cloud or Claude as an idiot? The Proud Idiot. Alright. Let's see. We need to definitely cast a big guard. Let's see. And then you just... You start... Well, you have to hit the bottom part of it to start doing damage. Apparently he's got a ton of XP... But he's really, really weak. Like, there's... There isn't really much a reason to even be... Uh, fucking... Like, trying to heal ourselves. There's no point. But if you don't delete the... Don't delete... Yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. We're deleting them. If you don't defeat the bottom part... It will... It won't kill itself. And then if you don't defeat it, it also... Like, won't fucking stop. <laughs> like, it'll keep going. You need to beat it in order to win. Let's see. Let's just hit it with Comet. Yeah, you keep trying that. You could keep trying that. You could keep trying that. Let's see. Throw more enemy skill. Let's do... Oh, which one's stronger? Magic Breath is pretty good. 
Yeah, we keep attacking something. I don't know what we're attacking with this attack. Sometimes I wonder why Comet doesn't hit things. <laughs> like, sometimes it'll just miss the target you actually want it to hit. Let's see. Yep, there's still a bottom half. Let's start casting fire on it. Let's see. If we could... She just doesn't do any attacks that are super helpful to killing the bottom part. Because for some reason her punches aren't doing any damage to it. Let's see, I think it's... No, that's... Something about her attack is actually connected to her limit gauge. The higher her limit, the more damage she actually does. So we need to kill that bottom half. We could just keep sending out the two of them, and then we could have uh, her keep on casting Big Guard. Because it needs a bit more defense. Like, sure, it doesn't attack for a lot, but I'd rather it not attack for a lot than it, like, piling up some kind of damage on us. So Big Guard's always a good idea. I mean, it's pretty much the best barrier. It's much better than any barrier I could have gotten. Enemy skill OP, what can I say? Did we get its bottom half yet? See, I want to see its health. The bottom part's about 2,000 health. So it's it's a fucking beast to kill anyway. Alright, we got the bottom part. Now we just need to beat the shit out of the top half. Okay, start casting fire. I'll start casting everything that'll kill it. Let's see, I could also just cast Ultima for funsies. <laughs> I love Ultima. I don't know why it does so much damage, but it does. Really, this thing is not doing anything to us. Kind of sad. It's like, this is a weapon-killing machine. It's like, it can't even really dent us. Let's see. Fire 3 again. And then White Wind. Yeah, that did some kind of damage. It didn't do a ton of damage. So Ultima may not be a good idea against him. You just keep attacking. Keep going. There's really no reason in using, like, very strong attacks, because he doesn't need to be defeated that quickly. We just keep punching him and hope it works. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know how this thing will defeat uh, any weapon. It's got four arms. It's got a giant saw blade on top of its head. It has to be run by two people. Why can't you make it remote control, Scarlet? I guess Scarlet's supposed to be weapons manufacturing? I guess I never really read that when they were all introduced. I always thought there was random people that worked for Shinra. I keep on forgetting. I didn't. I didn't put up big guard. I just kept on fighting them because I was like, eh, they're not hurting me much. I'm starting to put some hurt onto Tifa because she's the only one who's taking hits. <laughs> keep punching. We gotta keep going. I just really, I could sense how much uh, health it's got left. That'd be a good idea. Just see how much longer the fight will go on. Let's see. I don't have sense material on him. And I don't think we have sense material on him. See, we may not have sense material, so we won't be able to see how much damage we've done to it so far. Let me see. Does Tyler have sense material? Nah, he doesn't. So we just have to keep going and hoping it works. I don't think gravity is going to work on him. Keep punching. Don't worry. Keep punching him. Keep making him die. We haven't gotten Omni Slash in forever. <laughs> I tested it out when we first got it. But I just never got it again because he hasn't been hit a lot. <laughs> I guess we're just so good that fucking... The limits never occurred. Oh no, the battery for my thing is low. He's gonna start doing his, like, ultimate attack right when he starts kneeling. Meaning that he's... I think he's close to death. Let's see. Let's do another ultimate on him. Let's see. And then you just keep punching him. Your punches have gotten a lot stronger now that your limit bar has been going up. 2,000 damage? That's something. Fire 3. Hit him with another one. 
You're not going to be alive much longer, Proud Claude. Wow, we beat the Proud Claude. <laughs> I just hate that name. We got Ragnarok. I think that's a that's a that's a weapon for Cloud. Yeah, your Claude really is a Claude. Not that. This is the Proud Claude. Doesn't move. Yeah, he's a very proud Claude. But you know, pride is one of the seven deadly sins. <laughs> Whoa. Did they die? They're not there anymore, so I guess they died. Well, that's kind of fucking grim. You all just died because you got in the way. Anyway, Heaven's Cloud or Ragnarok. Ragnarok is much stronger. Yay. Should probably also throw on the Sense Command. Just so that I can see in, if they're going to die soon or not. Okay, so... Should probably heal up our magic shits. Just because we're kind of running out. Where was our turbos? Doot. And doot. That'll be fine for us. Since Tyler can just keep moving anyway. Let's see, what's the next direction? Head north. Okay. Two treasure chests. We'll find a save point. Okay, that's good. I'd like to save. Ah, there's items. Misteel. I don't know what that is. And an elixir. What's a misteel? It's an armor piece. It is... It's pretty good. According to this guide, it's pretty good. It improves a lot of your defense, so... I'll definitely throw that onto Tifa, since she's the fucking... Well, she's the tank. She just turned out to be the tank in the end. And she is being attacked by a tank currently. When will you just die? <laughs> We've hit you so many times, you just need to die. There you go. Is your destiny to die. Wow. <laughs> His sword looks cool. His sword looks cool. 8-inch cannon. Let's see. Uh, equipment may. Is it better than our Imperial Guard? Actually, no. It's actually good for magic defense. Let me see if it has any, like, stats. Nah, it's nothing like, uh, Tyler and Mines, where it's like, it'll drain attacks. Alright, let's get on to that fucking save point. We definitely gotta heal up Tifa. She's a little bit fucking put down right now. See, apparently you can get uh, Barrett's thing right now. Switch your party around that includes Barrett. There's a treasure chest coming up that contains Barrett's ultimate weapon. You can only see the treasure chest if Barrett is in the party. Alright. So we should switch out Tyler for Barrett just this once. So that he can get his ultimate weapon. Let's heal up. Uh, enemy skill? Can't use it right now. There we go. We should be all ready. Now we've got Barrett on the team and we gotta climb up there. Where are we going? Fate sits up there. How do we get up there? Huh? Proceed, proceed up the stairs? How do I get up the stairs? Oh, there we go. Towards Kate Seth. Let's see. There's a chest coming up. This way, Jason. Alright, I'm following you, Reeve. Slash Mr. Bubs. Mr. Bubs is leading us there. And they're two dead, so... <laughs> Seems like we're fine against those two. You know, there can't be a tank up there. Because we're up on stairs. John does do a lot of damage, anyway. Because I gave him his one attack that, like, does a fuck's done of damage. Just let us... There we go. I just wanted to let us go. Let him go! You just don't know when to give up, do you? <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2 reference. Hey, Tyler. Let's see, what's up, Ty? Damn, Hojo. Yeah, he's got a, <laughs> something to settle with him. Let's see. Sure, it's just coming up. Is it this one, the green one? Hey, this is missing score. This is great. 
Hold on, Hojo. Let's see. What is... This is apparently John's ultimate weapon. The missing score. Damn. That is a pretty good weapon. Too bad I don't want to use you. Sorry, John. I'll use you later, because there's a part where we have to use him later. But we need to walk back down and put fucking Vincent back on the team. Ah, uh, yes. Shinra showed up. You guys are actually starting to do some damage. I'm proud of you. But you're still gonna die. John's a thing doesn't do much damage, does it? Maybe he has to be in the back row to maximize the attack. Like, you see how strong Tifa's getting? Just from being fucking, like, her limits high right now? She can kill anything in one hit, pretty much. Like, once it's done, yeah, she's useless, but it's like... Once she starts getting hit, that's when she starts piling on the damage. Let's see. We need to heal her up real quick is one thing. <laughs> we are definitely not feeling good. Let's see. Magic. Cure 3. Cure 3 twice. We need to walk back down again because we need you, Tyler. You're the only one we can rely on. So yeah, it says that there's no way of getting missing score after this point. So I was like, you know, we should probably get it before we lose it. Just in case. I want to see while well, we're escaping from this place. I want to see what missing score stats are. Missing score. Barret's ultimate weapon. Its damage is based on how much AP is on the materia that you attach to the weapon. So you can make it a high level materia. So if you've got a materia that's like, if you've got a bunch of materia that's all like mastered, then you can make John OP as fuck. <laughs> so that's cool, I guess. But I'm not using him currently. I guess it does match him at the beginning of the game, wanting to be... wanting to figure out how to use Materia and not knowing. And then at the end, his... the amount of mastery of Materia he has makes him better. That's a cool little thing. I don't know if the devs actually thought about that when they were constructing that, but I think it's a cool little detail that they just left in. I'm gonna I'm gonna appreciate the creators of the game and say that they did think about that when they were making the game. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that and hopefully it's true. Hopefully it's true. And I want to save Tifa's limit for something very important, like a, the next boss or something. Because we're pretty much on a boss gauntlet currently. Okay. Back up to here. Come on. Alright. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, can we keep moving? Or do we have just a bunch of soldiers to deal with? Yep. You defend. You're not doing anything right now, Tifa. You're staying behind. I do not want you attacking anybody and wasting the limit that we've got. You can sit there and just be a damage sponge for now. Because I do not want to waste that limit that's going to be super ultra powerful. Because that thing is fucking amazing. <laughs> Alright, up we go. Up to the right. Alright, are we... we're near. There he is! Let's make sure that we're completely okay. Because we're going to have to deal with a kind of a hard boss right now. Let's see, elixir... we can just... Do we have any extra ethers? Yeah, we do. We have a bunch of ethers just sitting around. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, we'll just use an X potion on May. We should be good, because apparently there's one, two, three different bosses. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. What up, Hojo? Hojo, stop right there. Oh, the failure. At least you at least remember my name. It's Jason. Every time I see you, I it pains me that I had so little scientific sense. I evaluate I evaluated you as a failed project, but you are the only one that can succeed as a Sephiroth clone. But he's no clone. <laughs> I'm even beginning to hate myself. None of that matters. Just stop this nonsense. Nonsense. Oh, this? <laughs> Sephiroth seems to be counting on the energy. So I'm going to lend him a hand. 
Why? Why do that? Quit asking me why, you moron. Hmm. Actually, you might be cut out to be a scientist. Energy levels is at 683%. It's taking too long. My son is in need of power and help. That's the only reason. Your son? Ha ha ha. Although he doesn't know. Ha 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 ha. What will Sephiroth think when he finds out I'm his father? Always looking down on me like that. Ha ha ha! Sephiroth is your son? Meaning that he's the one that fucked Lucretia. Which makes Tyler very angry. Ha ha ha! I offered the woman with my child to Professor Gas Genova project. With Sephiroth still in the womb, we took the cells of Genova. Ha 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 ha! You... I can't believe you're the one who did this. The illusionary, the illusionary crime against Sephiroth. Hee 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 hee. No, you're wrong. It's my desire as a scientist. I was wrong. The one who should have slept was... You, Hojo. I was defeated by my desire to become a scientist. I lost the last time as well. I have injected Genova cells into my own body. <laughs> Here are <laughs> my results. Yep, we gotta fight Hojo in his weird mutated forms. The first battle is against Hojo himself. He will summon two sample creatures. But focus all your attacks on Hojo and the two enemies will disappear. So just fucking start wailing on Hojo himself. Let's see, we'll just have her do magic. There's no reason to not. Because we want to save her limit for fucking important shit. Capsule. He starts summoning, like, these random enemies. But they have, like, barely anything to do with anything. He's got, like, 13,000 health. So it's good to just start piling up all of the damage onto him. Like, sure, you can also hit the other ones. But you should probably be hitting him the most. Just because you want this fight over and done quickly. Sure, they don't do an extreme amount of damage, but it's better just to finish them off quick. Keep fucking putting down the fucking punishment on him. Like, you could even keep them up just to make sure he doesn't bring them back. But, uh, what's more fun, murdering things or not murdering things? I don't know, man. We gotta kill this one guy. Tyler needs to be the one to fucking finish him off. Ha. Huh. Now let's see how the Mako juice is reacting. Okay. So he kills himself? Let's see. Alright, the second form is Helectic Hojo. Let's see, let's not use this quite yet. But he can confuse uh, people. So we definitely need to cure her confusing. See, wherever the fuck it is. How do we confuse her from being... How do we unconfuse her? Dazers? Because she just attacked fucking Cloud with everything she had. Let's see. Fucking, you need to heal us. You need to heal yourself. You need to use enemy skill. And heal everybody. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Well, that's not good. He can just fucking fuck with everybody. Let's see. Alright, we're gonna use your limit to see if that'll flip you out of your fucking confusion. It might. But you might just attack me in the end. So I hope not. One. Two. How much damage does he got? He's got, like... Well, there's multiple parts of him. And the most damage you need to do is 26,000. Hopefully that cured her problem. Let's see. Ultima. Looks like we got rid of the weakest arm, which was only 5,000. Let's see. We don't. We can't bring him back at this point. He's fucked. Like, Tyler's stuck on the ground dead at this point. <laughs> and that was, <laughs> that was fucking Tifa's fault. Tifa just decided, you know, I want to kill Tyler today. You know, sometimes people decide that. <laughs> sometimes people that's a good de people decide that's a good idea. And sometimes I think that too, but 
Not right now, when we're trying to beat this giant fucking, like, monster. And if we die, we go all the way back down the thing, which is a pain in the ass, meaning we have to re-grab the, uh, important shit. Enemy skill, let's do magic breath. Is there any item I can pull out of my ass to try and heal him back? See, I don't think we can. We don't have any way of bringing him back currently. Hero drink? Give him the hero drink. And he's doing something. Okay, he died. And then we get to the last form of the fight. It's called Life Form Hojo, and he's got 30,000 health. I don't know what Hero Drink does. Let's see, let's throw up Big Guard, because if not, we're gonna get fucked. We're gonna get fucked by the Memes Trojan. Let's see. What's he gonna do? Apparently he does, like, a combo, and it's really good to have the counterattack going on. Let's see. Also, he's asleep. Or she's asleep. Anyway, he's got, like, 3,000 health, which is very bad. Silence. So he's gonna... I can't do my magic no more, so that means I just have to fucking punch things. Punch things for eternity. I wish I could wake you up, but you're very much not awake right now. But yeah, our combos do a lot, or our combos, our counterattacks do a lot of damage. Thank God for Big Guard. Oh, every time he attacks, we do a fucking counterattack. I guess that's what the guide meant by that. Counterattack is your best friend in this fight. Yeah, you're fucked at this point. The only attacks you can do is just comboing me. So you're not... I don't know what this thing is, but it's, it's not that strong. Anyway, oh shit, you're done for, dude. You're just done for, man. Hitting you with Comet. If we hit her with the hit him with a full Comet, we'd be we'd be alive, man. Anyway, that's not gonna hurt much. Let's see, White Wind. Nah, you're gonna need to actually. Okay, you're just not there anymore. <laughs> just keep punching, punch a bunch. I mean, we could pretty much finish this off with Cloud, as his only attack doesn't really do anything. And he's dead. Wow. I thought that was going to be a much harder boss. But Tyler died right out the gate. I was like, yeah, Tyler's got to defeat the guy who fucked up his his girlfriend. But in the end, <laughs> Tyler is dead. Tyler has died. Anyway, he's alive now. Anyway. Hmm. Hojo, rest in peace. I can't believe Sephiroth is Hojo's son. Alright, we need to stop this thing, don't we? Or do we stop it now? What's gonna happen now? I guess we saved Midgar. Shinra's finished. Meteors are gonna fall in about... Seven more days. That's what Grandfather said. Diggle. You want to see everyone in Cosmo Canyon again? Yes. You want to see Marlene, right? Don't ask me that. We'll beat Sephiroth. Then if we don't release the power of Holy in seven days, there won't be a planet left to protect. If we can't beat Sephiroth, it's as good as dead for us. We'll have to go a few days sooner than the rest who will die from Meteor. We'll go a few days sooner. Don't you think you're gonna... Don't you be thinking you're gonna lose before you even fight. No. What I meant was... What are we fighting for? I want us all to understand that. Save the planet. For the future of the planet. Sure, that's all fine. But really, is that how it is? For me, this is a personal feud. I want to beat Sephiroth and settle my past. Saving the planet just happens to be part of that. I've been thinking. I think we're all fighting for ourselves. For ourselves, and that someone, something, whatever it is that's important to us. That's what we're fighting for, and that's why we keep this, up this battle for the planet. You're right. 
Sounds cool saying it's to save the planet, but I was the one who blew up that Mako reactor. Looking back on it now, I can see that wasn't the right way to do things. I made a lot of friends and innocent bystanders suffered. At first it was revenge against Shinra, for my attack in my home, but now, yeah, I'm fighting for Marlene. For Marlene, for Marlene's future. Yeah, I guess I want to save the planet for Marlene's sake. Go and see her. Make sure you're right, and come back. For all of you, get off the ship and go out and find your reasons for yourself. I want you to make sure, then I want you to come back. Maybe ain't none of us will come back. The meteor's gonna kill us anyway. Let's just forget any useless struggling. I know why I'm fighting. I'm fighting to save the planet, and that's that. Besides that, that's something personal, too. A very personal memory I have. What about you all? I want you all to find that something within yourselves. If you don't find it, then that's okay too. You can't fight without a reason, right? So I won't hold it against you if you don't come back. <laughs> Sephiroth's like, huh. Like, huh. I guess so. What are you gonna do, May? Did you forget? I'm all alone. I don't have anywhere to go. I guess I'm that reason she keeps living. Everyone's gone. Yeah, we don't have anywhere or anyone to go home to. You're right. But I'm sure someday they'll come back, don't you think? Hmm, I wonder. Everyone has an irreplaceable something they're holding on to, but this time, our opponent has nothing. Well, that's alright. Even if no one comes back, as long as I'm with you, as long as you're by my side, I won't give up, even if I'm scared. May. No matter how close we are, we were far apart before this. But when we were in the life stream, surrounded by all those screams of anguish, I heard your voice. I thought I heard your voice. You probably don't remember this, but deep in my heart, I heard you calling my name. Or at least I thought I did. Yeah, at the time I heard you calling me. You were calling me back from the stream of consciousness in the life stream. After all, I promised that if... Any, if anything were to ever happen to you, I would come help. Jason, do you think the stars can hear us? Do you think they see how hard we're fighting for them? I don't know, but whether they are or not, we can still do what we can and believe in ourselves. Someday we'll find the answer. Right, May? That's what I learned from you when I was in the live stream. Yeah, that's right. Hey, May, I... There's a lot of things I want to talk to you about. But now that we're together like this, I don't know... I don't really know what to stay. I guess nothing's changed at all. Kind of makes you want to laugh. Jason, words aren't the only thing that people... Tell... <laughs> that tell people what you're thinking. You could tell them by your eyes. Why don't you guys go sleep in the high wind? It's almost dawn. Uh huh? Sorry, did I wake you? It's almost dawn, May. No, May came first, then dawn. <laughs> um, good morning, Jason. Give me a little longer, just a little longer. This day will never come again, so let me have this moment. Yeah, okay. This is probably the last time we'll have together. Well, ain't that sad. <laughs> Every sad moment, I need to joke about it. It's a coping mechanism. Who knows? <laughs> anyway. We 
we better go. But I still... It's alright, May. You said so yourself yesterday. At least we don't have to go on alone. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's go. The ship is too big with just the two of us. Yeah, it's a little lonely without everyone. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I'll make you, I'll make a big enough ruckus for everyone. Besides, I'm the pilot. No more flying around casually like before. We don't have the time to feel lonely. Huh? It's moving. Well, <laughs> everybody's back. John, Zephrom. Uh, oh, is that okay with you? Diggle. Why didn't you tell me? But you know, Zephrom. Hey, Diggle. If you butt in now, you'll never know what they'll say later. Were you watching? <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Tyler Tyler's here Tyler, were you watching me? Why such a puzzled look? You don't want me to come? No, it's just that you're always so cold I thought you didn't care what was happening Cool Hmm, I guess that's just the way I am Sorry Anyway, he's gotta jump back over well, looky here, the Shinra managers come back. Um, excuse me, but I wanted to come with the main group, but I couldn't get away. So, some people in Midgar took me in. I know I have a stuffed animal body, but I'll work really hard. I guess that's everyone. No, we're missing someone. No, Veronica's missing. She ain't gonna show up. At least this time she didn't steal our materia. Guess we gotta be thankful for that. Hey. How could you say that? I came all the way here after being seasick as a dog. I didn't go through all that just to have you guys have the best parts all to yourselves. Welcome back, Veronica. Gee, Jason, that's so nice of you to say. You sick? Well, whatever. I'm gonna be in my reserved seat in the hall, waiting. <laughs> All right, gang. Thanks, everyone. We didn't come back for your spiky-headed ass. We came back for Marlene. Guess that's just my what you call feelings or something. I uh, ain't got no words now. Although she's not here, she left us a window of opportunity. We can't let it go like this. Claire, she was smiling to the end. We have to do something, or that smile will just freeze like that. Let's all go together. Memories of Claire. Although she should have returned to the planet by now, something stopped her and now she's stuck. We've got to let go of Claire's memory. Has anyone here changed their minds? I'm counting on you, Zephrom. Yeah, yeah. There are two levers here and they've been bugging me for a while now. Let me try them out. Alright, so what should I do? You decide, Jason. This is our last battle. Our target is the Northern Cave. Our enemy is Sephiroth. So let's move out. <laughs> let's go, high wind. Off we go! Something just fall off? <laughs> Did someone just die down there? We've almost near the the northern cave. We're on our way, Sephiroth. Man, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna stick it to him. 
What is this, Sephron? Urgh. Some incredible force. Losing control. There's the gang. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, flunkies. Didn't I tell you all to go home? Yes, sir. This is our home. Oh man, stop trying to act so cool. Alright, you jokers. Hold me down with everything you got. Geronimo! End of disc two. <laughs> Save the game onto the memory card? That's a good idea. I'm gonna slot it into a different save as to like if we really wanted to come back to disc two. There's not actually there's no reason because the save isn't correct. It'll throw us after the events of uh the Shinra battle, meaning that we won't be able to escape, so there's no reason in not saving over it. So we just we fucked ourselves up that way, but it don't matter. Please insert disc three. So that's the end of this episode. And pretty much the end of the game. This next disc only has the North Cave. We're right at the end. So next time, we're probably going to be going to the North Cave. I'm not planning on grinding, and I'm not planning on doing the weapons. I may come back one day to do them, but I'm planning on going straight to the end of the game. Probably have to mix that up into a couple parts anyway, so... I'm going to see you guys next time.